Hi everyone, Dr. Bruce here. So in this video, I'm going to cover saltatory conduction. In white matter, the neurons contain myelinated axons. In gray matter, they're unmyelinated. So actually, let's start with gray matter. Here's a gray matter unmyelinated axon. So you notice that the action potential moves from one section of the axon to another. We say it propagates down the axon. So one section of the axon depolarizes and it causes the next section to depolarize. The action potential then moves down the axon in this way. So what about myelinated axons? So here's an axon that contains myelin. Notice that the way this is arranged is that there is a cell that produces the myelin, then there's a gap, then another cell, and then a gap. The gaps are called nodes of Ranvier. So let's take a closer look at this. The myelin is produced by a cell called a Schwann cell. So here's the nucleus of a Schwann cell, and you can see how the myelin that's produced wraps around the axon. Myelin is a lipid substance, and it acts to insulate portions of the axon. So what about the nodes? Let's look at these nodes. So the nodes, there are gaps in the myelin sheath. At the node, we have a high concentration of voltage-gated sodium channels. What happens is that the action potential reaches this node, the sodium channels open, and essentially give the action potential a boost that pushes the action potential to the next node. The action potential reaches the node, gets a boost, pushes to the next node, gets another boost, and so on. If you were to observe this, you would see it would look like the action potential jumps from node to node, and that's what we call saltatory conduction. So why is this important? Well, here's the two types of conduction. On the left here, we have a gray matter axon, and the action potential is propagating down the axon. It actually goes a lot slower than the white matter. On the right, we have a white matter axon, and we see saltatory conduction. The impulse jumps from node to node and is a lot faster. This is important clinically because of what we call demyelination. There are certain demyelinating disorders like neuropathy of pregnancy, diabetic neuropathy, and so on, where the myelin sheath is lost or it degenerates. So what happens when the myelin sheath is lost is the patient starts to manifest sy symptoms. You can't carry enough information down the axon. So it manifests as loss of sensory information like pain, numbness, or tingling, loss of reflexes, and loss of motor information going to muscles or muscle weakness. So that's why it's important clinically. All right, so I hope you've learned something about saltatory conduction. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.